only all local morning news. Fox 2 News Morning starts now. In HealthWorks this morning, professional football legend and sportscaster Joe Theismann speaking out about a potentially life-threatening public health problem. And Joe, along with Dr. Pam Morris, joining us now live from New York City. Good morning to both of you. Good morning, Dina. Good morning. Uh, Joe, I want to start with you because when I say I'm going to be talking to Joe Theismann, people still say, how's his leg? <laughs> that nobody can forget that... The leg is good, Dina. Thank you. That shocking injury back in 1985. All right, so let's talk about the AAA awareness campaign. Joe, tell me why you wanted to be a part of this, something that many people have never even heard of. A lot of people haven't heard of it. I never heard of it until my dad was diagnosed with it. When my father was diagnosed with AAA, which is abdominal aortic aneurysms, um, I wasn't sure exactly what it was or what the risk factors were or was whether I was susceptible to it. As it turns out, my dad had triple uh, bypass surgery about 20 years ago. And in his follow-up checkups, they noticed that he had an aneurysm. And simply put, it's a bulge in the artery that carries blood from the heart through the stomach down into the lower extremities. And when that wall starts to get thinner, that's the aneurysm. And uh, there's ways to repair it. And you always talk to doctors when it comes to fixing anything. But I went and got myself a simple ultrasound screening. As a matter of fact, you see my orange suspenders. Yeah. What they are is they frame the they frame the abdomen, and you'll see these around. I want you to think when you see orange suspenders, I want you to think of AAA, and I want you to go to a website which is findtheanswers.org to find out more about it. But there are one million people plus that are living with AAA, Dina, and don't even know it. And don't know so it. What to did me, your... it hit home when my dad had it. Absolutely. What did your ultrasound find, Joe? Uh, it, the ultrasound, it's a 10-minute little ultrasound. It's like, uh, it's like a pregnancy test for women. When you get an ultrasound, never had one because I wasn't pregnant. <laughs> yeah. But what happens That'd be is another you, get story. That, you get that ultrasound. <laughs> You get that, that's another, that'd be a big story. Right. You get that ultrasound, and uh, and what it does is it, it takes pictures of that particular part of your body. The aorta is down in this section. And yours and is healthy, though. What yours happens looks is, good. Mine looks good, yeah. I wouldn't okay. got it. I was, you get a little nervous when you start to go have the test because you don't know. But uh, I felt really great about the fact. And there's a history. If you're 60 years old, if you've been a smoker, if you have a history of a heart problem in your family, you could be susceptible to it. So that's why I wanted to get it done. All right, Doctor, let's talk about exactly what causes this. We have a really good visual that we've been putting up so people understand the aorta is in charge of really pumping the blood, right, from the heart to the lungs and to your body. That's exactly right. The, all of the blood is pumped out of the left side of the heart and then through the aorta it, to all of your vital organs, to the brain, to your vital organs and your abdomen and to your legs. But just like a balloon, the walls of that artery can become thinned uh, and subsequently it can dilate up and balloon out. And when it gets, gets large enough, it can actually rupture. When it ruptures, unfortunately, 90% of people will die from this disease disease. Wow. So it's very important. It's a silent killer and must be diagnosed early because we can treat it easily. All right, good information. Joe, Before we have to let you go, but I just want to ask you real quick, what do you think about our Detroit Lions this season? You see a glimmer? I, I think that this game, this game is a scary, huge game for the Redskins because the Lions have lost 19 in a row. I thought they played very well against Minnesota last week. I don't want to say it, but... Um, you know, being a Redskin, I'd, I'd hate to see this to be the one that happens, but I think the Lions are real close. Jim Schwartz has done a real nice job there, and they're going to get better. We're hungry for the win, so you Redskins, watch out. Next week, okay? Next All right. week. <laughs> All right, yeah, what's one more, <laughs> really? All right, Joe Theismann, thank you for the good information. Dr. Pam Morris, thank you. We'll put the link to that website on our website.